What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. This video is about Toe and Dual Axis Steering System. In this video, you will learn what is Toe Angle, how Toe affects the handling characteristics of vehicle, what is Thrust Angle, and what is Dual Axis Steering System, and how it works. So without spending much time, let's start now. Toe is defined as the difference of distance between the leading edge of the wheels and the distance between the trailing edge of the wheels when viewed from the top of vehicle. Here is the car. The front edge of the tire touching the ground is called the leading edge and the rear edge is called the trailing edge. Let the distance between the center of tire at leading edge be S1 and at trailing edge be S2. If S1 equals to S2, then you can see the tires are parallel and it is called zero or neutral toe. Now in second case, if S1 is less than S2, then tires are converging or pointing inwards, which is called toe in condition. In the third case, if S1 is greater than S2, that is, the tires are diverging or pointing outwards. This is called the toe out condition. Now you know what is toe in and toe out. Let's see how toe affects the handling characteristics of vehicle. So as you all know, the distance at the contact patch between the center line of tire and the kingpin axis is called scrub radius. Scrub radius can be positive, negative or zero. Currently in the figure, we are having the positive scrub radius. First, I'm considering the rear wheel drive vehicle. This is the contact patch of rear tire. As you can see, the center line of tire, the blue axis, is shown by the blue dot at contact patch. Similarly, the red kingpin axis is shown by the red dot at contact patch. The distance between these two dots is called the scrub radius. Now in the rear wheel drive vehicle, as the car accelerates, the whole rear wheel drive pushes the front of the car and move it forward. Because of this, the tires have tendency to tow out while accelerating. This can also be understood by understanding the rolling resistance. When vehicle begins to roll, the rolling resistance acting at the center produces a torque about the steering axis due to scrub radius. This torque makes the wheels to tow out. If initially we give a slight tow in, then during acceleration, the tires will experience a torque about the steering axis and will make the tires straight again. So this is the reason why we provide the slight amount of tow in in the rear wheel drive vehicle. The second case is for the front wheel drive. This is the contact patch of the front tire. Same as earlier, the blue dot is for the center line of tire and the red dot is for kingpin axis. The distance between these two points is called the scrub radius. Now in the front wheel drive vehicle, as the car accelerates, the whole front wheel drive pulls the front of the car and move it forward. Because of this, the tires and suspension geometry have the tendency to tow in while accelerating. This can also be understood by understanding tractive force. The tractive force of the front wheels acting at the center produces a torque about the steering axis due to scrub radius and this torque will make the tire to tow in. If initially we give tire a slight amount of tow out, then during acceleration, the tire will experience a torque about the steering axis and will make the tire again straight. So this is the reason why we provide a slight amount of tow out in the front wheel drive. Now let's analyze the handling characteristics of vehicle on track. Here when we are having zero toe, the tires are rotating freely on the track. But if we have tires with toe in, the tires will be dragging. The outer edge of the tires will get heated up, increasing the tire wear and this will produce drag. Similarly, if we are having toe in condition, the inner edge of the tire will be heating up, producing drag and increasing the tire wear. So because of this, the tires with zero or neutral toe is best for straight line stability. But what happens while cornering? Here you can see the car is taking a right turn. The outer and inner tire are following these curves while turning. The inner tire of the vehicle have to follow a tighter curve as compared to the outer tire. So the inner tire should have the greater steering angle as compared to the outer tire. This can be achieved using Eckermann geometry. But as the curve become more tighter, we have to increase the steering angle of tire to follow the tighter curves. This could be achieved by using the toe out condition. Here you can see, if the vehicle is having a toe out condition, it will make the inner tire to turn at greater angle as compared to the outer tire and also allows the vehicle to follow the tighter curves. So while turning, toe out condition can be helpful as compared to neutral or toe in condition. If we take one car with toe in, another with toe out on the track, you will observe that the car with toe out is very sensitive to steering and the small change in steering wheel will make the wheels to steer with large amount. But in the case of toe in, the tires are reluctant to turns and the steering is very less sensitive. So from all this discussion, we are on the following conclusion that zero or neutral toe is good for straight and slight toe out is good for cornering. But you know, 
to is something that is fixed by the designer and cannot be altered while driving. For changing the tow angles while driving, Mercedes came with DAS, that is, dual access steering system. Dual access steering gives the driver an extra dimensional control on the steering system. Basically, it allows the driver to change the tow angles of tire while driving on the track. So here you can see, as the steering wheel is pulled towards the driver, the wheels are having the tendency to tow in. And similarly, if the steering wheel is pushed inwards, the wheels have the tendency to tow out. So in this manner, the driver can adjust the tow of vehicle by making zero tow while going straight for maximum straight line speed and tow out during cornering on the tighter curves. Mercedes haven't revealed yet how actually the mechanism was working. But after searching on internet and doing some iterations, I came up on the conclusion that there are two possible ways of changing the tow of tires. Tow can be changed by changing the position of rack that is moving it forward and backwards on some rails like mechanism. Or tow can be adjusted by adjusting the length of rack. Here I will be discussing that how we can adjust the length of rack for changing the tow angles. The mechanism used is called split rack and pinion mechanism. This mechanism consists of two racks for each wheels, two pinions for each rack and these pinions have the helical internal connection with the steering column. The helical connection between the steering column and pinion allows the pinion to rotate when steering column is pushed or pulled by the driver. As the steering wheel is pulled towards the driver, the rack length increases due to pinion rotating in opposite direction with respect to each other and this will lead to towing condition of tire. Now if the steering wheel is pushed by the driver, it will lead to decrement in length of rack causing the tow out condition. After achieving a particular tow in or tow out condition, the steering wheel can be rotated normally like a normal rack and pinion mechanism. On rotating the steering wheel, both pinions will rotate either clockwise or anti-clockwise, achieving both left and right turns. So this is a very simple and stable mechanism and can be used for adjusting the tow angles of tires while driving. Now let's understand what is thrust angle. The thrust angle is the imaginary line drawn perpendicular to the rear axle center line. It compares the direction that rear axle is aimed with the center line of vehicle. It also confirms that rear axle is parallel to the front axle and the wheelbase on both sides of the vehicle is same. So here you can see the rear axle center line is parallel to the front axle center line. If we draw an imaginary line from the rear axle center, it will intersect the center of front axle. This means we are having zero thrust angle. But if the rear wheels are aligned in such a fashion that rear axle center line is not parallel to the front axle center line, then the imaginary line drawn from the center of rear axle will make an angle with the vehicle center line and we will get an angle called thrust angle. This will affect the vehicle handling characteristics and will increase the tire wear. Generally, for independent suspension geometry, this happens due to improper toe settings. You can see one wheel is having toe in and other is having toe out. So in this case, the suspension of each side of the vehicle must be adjusted individually to achieve the proper toe setting. So this is all about thrust angle, dual axis steering system, toe angles, this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do like the video. If you find the video useful, do share it. Also, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.